in Sri Sripad E. Dabolkar, the farmers of Western Maharashtra have found such a garden. Gifted with originality in thinking, Dabolkar dares to take the Alcrosby path. He was a lone campaigner, typical of his independent temperament. But being a man of conviction, he decided to reach the last man in the field and to find solutions in his own life situation. He succeeded in creating mass awareness and interest in farmers who then formed their own group called Prayog Parivar or experimental cells, even in his absence. This was network building by excellence, resulting in a new sociology of science and education. Babarkar started his mission in Tatsang, a village in Sangli district of Maharashtra, amongst the great cultivators. Soon the productivity in the district rose to world standards. Hitting upon new, out-of-the-way ideas is Dabolkar's speciality. He is now experimenting on making a small plot of land at measuring about 10,000 square feet, a viable holding for a rural family of four to five persons, because he believes that the sunlight of the area is enough for this purpose. By selecting Sri Sripat E. Dabolka for the Jamnawal Bajaj mm -hmm. Award, for the application of science and technology for rural development, the trustees of the foundation feel happy to recognize his pioneering contribution to popularize his science and its use for a better rural environment. At the outset, I must express my happiness at receiving this prestigious award associated with the name of Jamnal Ali. Jamnal Ali himself received the highest honor that this world can ever offer. He was adopted in an intimate sense by Mahatma Gandhi as his fifth son. What greater honor than this than humanity ever in God. I must tell also, please on record, how gratefully I remember on this occasion Sri J.P. Knight, the world-renowned eminent educationalist, and Sri Anna Sahib Sastra the veteran Gandhian leader and constructive worker, who were among the first nearly 30 years ago to appreciate my present approach to rural development and social change. <laughs> this new approach to rural development since the very beginning has emerged through educational and other original research carried out on the basis of self-arising, self-uprising, self-sustaining and self-multiplying network of self-identifying participants. This whole activity gradually got crystallized some 20 years ago in what we since then have termed Prayog Pariva. The word Prayoga signifies experiment and the word Pariva signifies sense of belonging and togetherness till the success of the experiment is achieved. This is a new type of fraternity where no one rules and everyone in the group fully participates to realize the common goal. It is a common pursuit <coughs> for acquiring, assimilating, and utilizing the latest of the postgraduate and research level scientific knowledge and modern thought to resolve their problems in the field. For this, the process of Prayog Parivar is the process of demystification of science and deprofessionalization of education. This new approach through some happy events has also by now got worldwide acclamation and recognition. So what are the salient features of Prayog Parivar? One, our experience proves that our rural community may be less educated or even illiterate, but it possesses a high level IQ, intelligence quotient, and our eminent professionals. With this IQ and with the process of demystification of science, even the illiterate are capable of grasping high level scientific knowledge and research data in the field of life that they feel is helpful to them. After grasping the content, they are capable of using it to build up their own technology to achieve their most coveted practical goals. Four, thus a new network of learning exchanges develops on its own from within different groups spread over at different places and different walk of life. It is a new sociology of science and education, a new non-system approach for achieving genuine investment of science and new thoughts among the market. Five, 
All this rests more on these schooling societies than on other aid, input, subsidies, and provisions of providence. Six, which is self-earned and testified strength of time, they develop the capacity of the individual and the community to take calculated risks on their own strength. This is venture. Seven, these of so many ventures then generate in the community ever-increasing and lasting entrepreneurship, which is the real core of development. Eight, it then generates new credits and goodwill in the locality as well as in the network for further wealth generation and sharing. As this may be the first time you may be coming across this non-system new thesis on development, you would naturally have some questions and doubts. In that case, I can only invite you to join the venture from where you are and as you are and find out for yourself. It is applicable to all cases and not only to agriculture and anywhere else, wherever we have a problem and are seeking solutions. So welcome one and all to join this caravan. And finally, thanks to you all, each and every one of you. Thank you.